Well, here's a treat for you guys. A lot of people didn't get a chance to see this, but uh, due to part of the contract negotiations, uh, whoever won the fight, the cast and crew, whoever was announcing, would have to go into what's next for the winning fighter. Meaning that Bernstein and everyone else would have had to go with Pacquiao one and talk about what's next for Manny Pacquiao. So when they didn't win and Floyd Mayweather won, Jim Lampley and Roy Jones had to basically promote what's next for Floyd Mayweather. And this was pretty interesting. Because you're going to watch Al Bernstein not fall for the trap and basically son Jim Lampley when Lampley tries to throw a little snide comment in and try to make it look like it's all in good humor. But I found it to be pretty entertaining. But that ain't enough of me. I'll let y'all listen to it. Very much, JB. I'm here again with Roy Jones and Al Bernstein. A clear, unanimous decision victory for Manny Pacquiao. Excuse me, for Floyd Mayweather over Manny Pacquiao. Roy Jones, let's talk momentarily about what might be next for Floyd Mayweather. Uh, and he obviously is going to be fighting his next fight on Showtime in September. A couple of opponents are the source of constant speculation. One of them, young, unbeaten welterweight Keith Thurman from your home state of Florida, who may be at this point a livelier athlete and maybe a harder hitter than Manny Pacquiao. The other, the very precise and very fast Amir Khan of Great Britain. Could either Thurman or Khan, in your view, provide better opposition to Floyd Mayweather than Pacquiao did tonight? One time, one time, one time, Keith, Thur one time Keith Thurman could provide some real action in a fight with Floyd Mayweather. Two reasons. One, he's a bigger welterweight than both of these guys. To me, Floyd and Manny really are not legitimate welterweights. However, Keith Thurman is a welterweight from the old days. He's a little bit taller, he's a little bit thicker, and he's a heavy puncher. That doesn't mean he's going to beat Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather is pound for pound the best welterweight out there right now. But it would be an exciting and intriguing matchup because Keith Thurman has power and we get to find out. Floyd will make us see or make him show Floyd what he really knows. What if he chooses Khan with his long arms and hand speed? Khan is not a bad opponent either. However, we saw Floyd knows how to use power when necessary, and he knows how to use speed when necessary. Khan has been suspect of a somewhat weak chin, so we already know that Floyd knows this, and if that's the case, Floyd probably going to go back to chopping wood, come in the ring, trying to chop Khan down, but there again is a real intriguing fight, because Khan is another guy who I have up, the utmost respect for, He's a guy who will come out and give it his all, he's rangy, he's very powerful, and he's a good technician in the ring. So both of those guys would be legitimate fights for Floyd Mayweather. Okay, so now that we two HBO announcers have just done a good job for putting <laughs> Floyd Mayweather's next appearance on Showtime, let's turn to Showtime's Al Bernstein. Al, one of the most prominent uh, ring writers in the country, Kevin Ioli, conducted a poll in the last yeah. couple of weeks. You and I were both among the participants right. voting for the top 15 fighters of all time. Mm -hmm. Neither Manny Pacquiao nor Floyd Mayweather were high on the list. Mayweather was, I think, just a little bit higher, but mm -hmm. neither was in the top ten. Right. Will this win, in the estimation of ring historians, move Floyd up closer to that, that run where he puts himself the best ever? Yeah, and may, by the way, I agree with uh, Roy about Keith Thurman being a, a wonderful opponent for him. Floyd Mayweather, whether he's marketable enough, remains to be seen. That's Showtime promoting Showtime. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, this is a good fight. <laughs> no, it's me talking about a boxer, but here's the point. Oh. I, I think that um, with... <laughs> with Floyd Mayweather winning this fight, because he won a fight that is important for his generation, I think that it will probably move him up the list. I think most people believe that Mayweather's a terrific fighter, but when they juxtapose him to some of these great fighters of the past, they don't find him up to the task, especially at welterweight, because some of those welterweights are bigger. But clearly, this win means something. You can't keep winning and have a win like this without it meaning something in a historical sense. Would this fight have been any different five years ago? Uh, well, it's very intriguing. I, I don't, I mean, I think the boxing skills of Mayweather still would have been an issue. But here's what we would have gotten, a more energetic Manny Pacquiao, that's for sure. And by the way, as far as the future of Manny Pacquiao is concerned, that's almost as interesting as Floyd Mayweather in a way. Does he move down to 140? What does he do? We shall see. Let's go back upstairs to JB.